if you didn't know, there you go. So y'all, different scenery this morning. <laughs> because I decided it's beautiful outside this morning, so why not just sit out on my patio, what I usually don't do. I mean, I probably sit out here once a week. So I decided to sit out here today. And as you see from the, ooh, this tea is hot. From the title of the video, I haven't done a weight loss update in a while. It's been a couple months. It's been a few months. But I haven't give you, given you any updates as far as, I gotta put this down, hold up y'all. <laughs> as far as my postpartum weight, um, my goals at this point that I'm trying to reach, like what I have going on in regards to my weight loss, because it has, changed drastically like I have made differences I can't talk in my weight in my lifestyle in my health in a lot of things so I had to come give you guys the update um and you may hear the loud morning beetle bugs whatever you want to call them because where I, my patio is located it's just a whole bunch of bushes and trees back here so yeah I hope it's not too much. Let me know down in the comments below. But thumbs up this video if you like this video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're back, hi my love. I'm gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna really um, talk too much, but I do wanna give you guys an update. Um, just a backstory for people who are new here. I've always struggled with my weight, um, really off and on. So it's like, one minute I love my weight, one minute I don't. Um, in high school, you can actually check out my first weight loss video. It's on my channel, but I'll just summarize that video just a little bit here. Um, I was struggling with my weight after high school because during high school I did sports. So I really didn't have an issue with you know losing weight because I cheerleaded and played softball. So. I could keep the weight off in high school. Once I left high school and I got into college, freshman 25, freshman 15, whatever you want to call it, definitely hit me hard. So I sort of kind of blew up, but then I lost the weight and then I got in a relationship, happy weight came on, basically blew up again. And after that relationship kind of ended, um, I decided to lose weight, I did keto lost about what 40 pounds within two months so keto was basically like the kickstart of my weight loss like that's what helped me the most to get off majority of my weight because i was like what 209 210 and i had dropped down to like 178 with keto so i lost a lot of weight but keto wasn't something that was sustainable for my life keto, i couldn't give up carbs yeah i couldn't give up carbs forever so I had to let keto go and after I let keto go I maintained the weight but I kind of gained it back and then I got pregnant so here we are and I've been trying to get rid of this baby fat now backstory on my pregnancy during my pregnancy when I got pregnant I was 177 okay so that's how much I weighed at the end of my pregnancy I was two I think I was like 205. So I didn't gain that much weight, but it's like I gained everything back that I lost from keto. But majority of it was my baby. So once I lost, once once I lost, Lord forgive me, once I actually had Ayla, my weight went down to 188. And they tell you, you breastfeed, you lose the weight, the baby fat, the baby fat quicker. That didn't necessarily work for me because I was trying to lose weight, lose the weight, but my doctor and my lactation at the time was telling me, you need to basically eat this many calories, so you need to be eating more. And I was eating more, but I was eating more than she was telling me. So I wasn't losing weight, I was really gaining weight during that time. And I started noticing it because I'm like, oh my goodness, like my face hasn't went down, my stomach hasn't went down, like I just felt like I was getting bigger rather than smaller. So. Everybody was telling me in the beginning, like, don't worry about it. You got time to lose that baby fat. Don't rush it now. You need to rest and do all of this. And I was resting. It was just the simple fact that I didn't work out. So I couldn't work out. I've never been the type of person well, after high school to work out. That that really wasn't something I was fond of after high school. In high school, 
you will catch me in the gym. You will catch me working out on the track, doing my cardio. But after, no. So, of course, after having a baby, you can't work out for like the first six weeks. So, I'm like, that's out of the picture. And then I wanted to cut calories at that time. But I was breastfeeding, so I couldn't cut calories. I had to continue to eat, 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 so I could produce milk. So, I just decided... For a little while, I decided, you know, I'm just going to rock out with the weight. And I'm going to give it to at least Ayla is at the point where she doesn't need to breastfeed all the time, which is now. So I started I started this new, it's still my weight loss journey that I've been going on since 2020. I started my, really 2019. I started this weight loss journey in 2019 and it's still going to this day, but I've had to change up things because pregnancy, breastfeeding, all of that. So, here we are now. That was a little backstory. Here we are now, speed speed up to what? February or March. That's when I started taking it a little bit more serious and I'm like, okay, in a few months, Ayla won't be breastfeeding, okay? I was only deciding to go to 12 months, which is one year for her, which is August. So, came February and March, I decided, you know, let me let me start taking it a little bit more serious. I wasn't working out, but I wanted to watch how I eat. Because before, I was eating out probably three to four times a week, and that's no good for me. <laughs> Which was one reason my body was holding on to that weight, because I was just eating out and eating junk. Like, and I would have junk food in the house, y'all, like... <sighs> when I would go grocery shopping, y'all, I would just buy a whole bunch of snacks and junk. Like, no whole foods like I do now. So, it became to the point, it got to the point where I was like, okay, I can't really put myself in a calorie deficit right now to where I'm only eating this amount of calories because I'm still breastfeeding. I still need to produce until she's one. So, I decided, let me just change my eating habits. Let me just change what I buy from the grocery store and put in my house. You get where I'm going here? Let me just stop buying junk and let me buy whole foods, fruits and vegetables, lean meat. You know, let me buy some food and not junk. So, that's what I started doing in February. So, and I've always been the type of person, main key to weight loss is drinking water. That's never been an issue for me. I am not someone that drinks soda, juice. The only juice you'll ever see me drinking juice is body armor. And that, and I get the low calorie one with only 15 calories in it. So, I'm not doing too much. If I want a little flavor in there, and plus, I was breastfeeding. That was the only way to keep me hydrated when I didn't want water. You know, I can drink water all day long, but sometimes you want a little flavor in there. And a little lemon in the water ain't enough all the time. So, I did actually, sorry y'all. I did actually drink body armor. So, and I still drink body armor to this day. So, anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, I started doing that. I didn't see a huge difference, but I did see probably a pound every two weeks. I would lose a pound. And my weight was just staying where it was. So, I had got back down to, I believe it was like 176. So, I had got down to like 176, but it was stubborn for so, 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 so long. I mean, I was pleased that it wasn't, you know, rising. I mean, it did rise at one point. So when I was eating crazy in the beginning, when I first had Ayla, I was, after I had her, I was 188. And when I took her home and I started eating all crazy, I got like to 192. And that's when it kicked in like, okay, you're doing something wrong. I know you're supposed to be eating more calories for Ayla so you can produce, but at the same time, you shouldn't be gaining this much weight. So that's when I started doing, like I mentioned, the whole food, buying real food. And I had got down to 176. Something happened. I, well, I actually was going through some stuff. I got back up from that 176, y'all. I went up to 187. 187, 186. It was one of those. It was in the 180s. Let's just say it was in the 180s. And I'm like, Okay, I done lost this weight and I'm just gaining it back. So it was, it's just been up and down. Like, my weight does not stay, it like doesn't stay in one spot. Like, it just goes up and down. And I got, I was getting real frustrated because I'm like, is it like, what's the point of losing weight? What's the point? That's when the mind thing kicked in. 
because it's really mental like it's really mental weight loss is mental you have to want it mentally and i was just wanting it physically okay like i just wanted the the look okay i just want to look and feel good because you know i just had a baby after i just lost all this weight and i was looking banging in 2020 come 21 i'm sitting here pregnant big then had a baby like i was just uncomfortable in my skin basically and i wanted to lose all the weight so i can look good and that's what messed me up so come i believe it was like i'm gonna say about around my birthday time probably may somewhere around that time when spring was starting and i realized if i keep wanting to do this just because the way i want to look i'm really not going to get anywhere so i had to turn on i had to turn on my mental and i had to tell myself it's not for the look at this point it's for the health i want to eat right get healthy for me and my child because I want to be around for a long time so I'm, I'm not going to focus on the physical anymore the physical, the physical will come okay the physical will come once I get my mind together and realize what I'm doing it for I'm not doing this anymore to look good I'm not doing this of course I'm doing it to feel good because when you eat healthy when you work out when you're healthy overall you feel amazing and I've been feeling amazing skin is doing me like it, it it's a lot y'all it's a lot that this weight loss has do has done to make me feel and on top of that look amazing even though i don't even look at myself all the time but i can definitely see a difference from when i started after i had ayla to now i look totally different um so yeah it's been a mental thing and i want to give a few tips on what i've been doing so I've already told y'all that I started to buy whole foods. I don't, I have like snacks and knickknacks in my house, but not like I had before. Like when I would go to the grocery store, I would buy Chippewa cookies. I would buy Oreo cookies on top of chips, the little big bags of chip, variety chips. Like I would get so much stuff that I know I don't even need. I'm getting chicken patties, um, TV, I'm getting so much stuff when I could just buy food to cook. As you guys have seen, I've been meal prepping. So that was the first thing. I changed what I brought into my fridge, into my home, what I decided to snack on. If I do decide to snack, I make sure I get fruit. I wasn't buying fruits the way I do, uh, the way I buy fruits now. And plus I have to buy fruits for Ayla. She can't, I'm not letting her snack on cookies and ice cream and potato chips. No, 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 no. If she wants a snack, it's going to be a fruit or a veggie so i just started buying more fruit so if i feel like i need a snack i'll go snack on some fruit i do have potato chips but they're the the kettle the kettle chips so basically the ones with less fat salt and vinegar i'll eat on those as far as like goody snacks as i call them <laughs> so instead of getting chip ahoy and oreos and baked cookies and all of that I'll just choose one. Which one do I want this week? You know, which one do well, this month? Cause it'll last me for a month because I'm not eating them every day. And that was the thing then. I was eating the snacks that I had every single day. Can we just have like once a week where you choose, okay, I wanna have this snack today. No, I had to eat it every single day. So I would choose one. If y'all wanna see a grocery haul um, on what I do buy for my home and what I eat and everything like that I would definitely make a separate video on that but that was the the first thing okay first thing was actually changing what I brought into my home bringing more healthy foods in there the second one as I already mentioned was the mental okay I had to cut off the physical want and turn on the mental need okay because I was physically wanting to look good but not mentally knowing that I needed to get healthy so I changed that. I changed that aspect of my life. And lastly, all I've been doing is calorie counting. And I know a lot of people have probably heard this over and over and over and over and over again. Calorie counting does the job. Okay, if you don't feel like working out right now, even though I do work out, I try to work out, I haven't been too consistent with it because 
some days I just be tired, y'all. It'll be wearing me out to the point where I can't get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and go work out. So, but we do take walks. And I'll add that in there as well. We do we do take walks in the evening um, around about 6 o'clock. We'll go for a walk. I work walk a mile because to walk around my whole neighborhood is a mile. So, I walk around, come back in, and that, that's my walk for the day. You should be getting 10,000 steps in a day, but... As long as you're getting some type of activity in, it'll help boost your weight loss. Um, so yeah, but as I was saying, calorie counting. Um, I put myself in a calorie deficit. It told me I could have 1,500 calories, but I subtracted two, 200 from that because I want to see a difference. Not real quickly, but I want to challenge myself because I've always been the type of person to eat too damn much. All right, and I'm just being real with myself. If you want to eat, if you want to lose weight, you have to stop eating so damn much. And I had to be real with myself. I was eating way, 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 way too much. Like looking back now, and looking at the meals that I used to eat, like for breakfast, I would have pancake, egg, sausage, probably some bacon, potatoes, some fruit. Along with that, you got to think about the hidden calories, which is the butter the um listen to me the butter what you're putting into your um smoothies whether it be the oat milk the um vanilla all of that all the ingredients that go into fixing the meal the syrup okay you're putting all of that on there which is making it probably about thousand calorie meals we're only supposed to be having two thousand calories a day um and you're sitting here having a thousand for breakfast you're gonna turn around and have probably chick-fil-a for lunch which is probably about 1200 calories and then you turn around and have dinner you probably go out to eat and y'all have an appetizers full course and dessert so you ate probably about 3500 calories in a day probably 4000 and that's just too damn much and on top of that you're probably snacking in between those that's what i was doing y'all too damn much and that's another thing i stop eating out i barely eat out at all and if i do eat out i'm going to get something i'm going to get a sub i'm going to get a salad i've been i've been stacking up on salads from zaxby's if y'all have a zaxby's where you are i love a zaxby salad and i've been stacking up on it and a zaxby salad is only what like 780 calories the ranch, you probably don't need that because that's an extra 150 and they give you two packs, so you using two packs of them, you get where I'm going. But if you're going to have that for like, say, lunch, and you're already cutting calories, so for probably for breakfast, you probably just had an egg with some bacon. That's, that's basically, I'll do a video on what I eat in a day as well. Well, I've already done one, but as far as my eat out days, okay, on a day that I decide I don't want to cook, I'm going to go get a salad or a sub. I'll show you guys that. But I had to cut calories. So as I was mentioning, it told me I could have 1,500 calories to lose a pound a week. But I'm like, I want to challenge myself. Because I don't be that hungry. Like, I'm not usually that hungry. Ayla, she's about to be one. I don't need to be eating so many calories as it is. So if I want to put myself to the challenge, let's just subtract two, 200 from that. And now it's only 1,300. So I eat 1,300 calories a day. I do take my Saturday to cheat. It's not really a cheat day. It's just instead of me eating at 13, I'll do that 15. And if I go over that 15, oh well. If I have 17 instead of the 15 on my cheat day that I decide, usually it's Saturday because I know I'll probably go out with my family, me and Ayla, you know. I still want to give Ayla that lifestyle where we'll go get ice cream today, we'll go do this, you know, I'll take you out. To eat you know i still want to do that so i incorporate my cheat day on saturday that's the only day because on sundays i meal prep monday through friday i'm eating my meal prep so it keeps me it keeps me grounded at this point so i only eat 1300 calories a day i have a cheat day on saturday i know some people say if you want to see results then stay consistent then don't do a cheat day if you feel you need that cheat day it's not really a cheat day though it's just a day where you're probably just going to eat over, you're going to add your 300, 200, 500 calories back. Do it. 
do it because if you feel yourself i gotta stick to this and not have a cheat day once you hit your goal it's going to be like oh now i can eat whatever i want to eat don't do that to yourself this is sustainable this, you can make this a lifestyle to literally meal prep eat like this every day of the week and then that saturday have your cheat day go back into it it keeps you on track as far as you just eating healthy food and you're still eating healthy food that's the thing it, it isn't like when the weekend get here saturday get here i'm just eating junk i can really eat whatever i want just as long as i stay within that 1300 calorie 1500 calorie deficit so it's really not a cheat day because you can still eat healthy and just sustain your weight because really to sustain your weight it'll there's a calorie um calculator that i'll link in the bio link link in the bio link in the description below and you can go and see how many calories do you need to actually maintain your weight so if you have one cheat day out of the week say you're eating probably 18 instead of that 13 you're not going to gain weight because more than likely your body only needs 18 to stay at its weight now when you start going over the 18 and you get to like 2000 2100 then at that point you may gain some weight but you just got to know that one day is not going to mess up your whole journey one day is not going to ruin your weight loss journey one day is not going to make you lose make you gain a pound two three pounds like no one day is not going to do that as long as you don't keep it going you you stick to that one day that one day i promise you'll be perfectly fine and another thing is i was trying to cut breakfast out intermittent fasting is a great way to lose weight but i feel like lately it hasn't done justice for me simply because since i graduated high school i have a very slow metabolism so in order for me to get that in control and get my metabolism back running i have to eat breakfast i have to eat breakfast y'all i'm not even drinking my tea I have to have breakfast. I have to eat like every two, they say two to three hours, but I can go three to four. So that was another thing. Once I started, once I let intermittent fasting go, because I don't really, as I mentioned, I work out, but it hasn't been consistent, but I'll go for a walk. So me eating breakfast and getting my protein in, that's another thing. You have to eat your protein, y'all. You have to eat your protein okay and me before i wasn't eating much protein i was just eating really carbs and carbs and fruit and i probably have a video on here or it's probably on my tiktok i used to eat a bagel in the morning with cream cheese and maybe a side of fruit and a smoothie where's your protein that's just straight sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar and i had to realize like okay yeah um you'll realize once you once you change your eating habits your lifestyle you will realize like what you were doing before what was what the issue was to have you gain the weight and keep the weight on you'll realize so i would say take these tips that i just gave you all and give it a try give it a shot don't don't work out try not to work out for the first 30 days and see and see where it gets you if you want to incorporate the working out portion in there go ahead all you need is probably 30 minutes to an hour a day that's it just give up 30 minutes to an hour a day of get you a jump rope i have a jump rope i'll do my jump rope and that's really all you need just to get active to be a beginner you no one's asking you to go to the gym get on the treadmill for about an hour go lift some weights you don't have to do all of that even if you just want to take a walk around your neighborhood just a little activity will get you a long way y'all this hair is like tickling my neck and my chest <laughs> so yeah y'all that's really all the tips i have i mean i have more but i'll probably do a part two and give you guys more videos on what i eat and um some pictures my before and after pictures but i don't want this video to be way too long um but yeah i'm now okay so i was one when i started i was 184 186 I, my weight was just stuck right there in the 180s i couldn't get back down to that 170 and when i did it's like i would just gain it all back so 
I was 186. We're gonna go with 186. That's the last time I weighed myself before I started the calorie counting, uh, mentally changing the way I thought about my weight loss journey and all of that. Before I started those tips that I just mentioned, I was 186. Today, sitting here today, guys, I am now 167. Y'all, I haven't seen that number on the scale in years. My goal weight has always been 150. I've always wanted, like, even when I started back in 2019 doing keto, I'm like, I want to be 150, I want to be 150, I want to be 150. Y'all, I'm literally at, what, 17 pounds away? Like, I'm literally on my way to my weight loss goal, and I'm so... I get emotional just talking about it because when I got on the scale, because y'all, another thing, another thing, I just gotta put this in there. My scale was not working for like a month. Okay, when I moved into my new apartment, my scale wasn't working. I was trying to figure out like, why isn't my scale working? Why isn't my scale working? So I wasn't using it. I wasn't getting on the scale. I, I had no idea what my weight was. I just know last time I got on the scale, I was 180 something. Now that I've moved, I don't know how much I weigh. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to put some new batteries in. I'm going to put some new batteries in it. But never got to it until probably like a week ago. I decided, let me put some batteries in this thing so I can see how much I weigh. Because I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, you look different, girl. You look slimmer. Um, <laughs> so I put some new batteries in it. And about a week ago, I got on the scale and it said, it was like 168 at that point because I had just ate whatever. And I was like, I don't care. I just want to see what it's going to say. And y'all, I really thought something was wrong with the scale. I said, no, 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 no. And I said, the scale been off too long. It, it, that ain't right. That ain't right. It's been off way too long. Um, let me bang it against the wall real quick and retry it. So I did that and I went away for probably about 10, 15 minutes, came back, got back on it, and it said 168 again. And I'm like, no. I said, you know what? I'm going to leave the scale alone for the day. We're going to check it in the morning. For, first thing in the morning, as soon as I wake up, you know, without anything on my stomach, empty stomach, no breakfast, no nothing, we're going to try it. The next morning come around and I was ready to get I was ready to get in there and get on that scale, y'all, just to see if I was tripping or if the scale was accurate. So I went in there, y'all, and I got on that scale and it said 167.9. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I was and that was really the the motivation that I needed at that time because I had weighed myself for so long and it's like, okay, at first I was thinking none of my hard work is paying off i'm doing all this working out i'm eating right i'm doing all of this and nothing nothing is paying off at this point until i actually got on that scale and i've seen it and that just gave me the extra boost that i needed so i've been strict on myself i've been consistent i've been putting in the work and hopefully by the end of summer we get to see that 150. end of summer beginning of fall I'm praying that I get to see that 150 and I get to be where I want to be and I can sustain and, sorry y'all, and maintain, I said sustain, I can maintain my weight because I have worked my butt off. Like, I've been working my butt off. Like, I will literally, my mom wants to go out to eat. She wants to do this. And I'm like, can we just wait till Saturday? Can we wait till Saturday? You know, like, I have to put things on the back burner for myself for my baby because it's not about the physical that's that's the last thing I've been worried about lately like I look amazing Just don't get me wrong I look absolutely amazing but it's my health that I'm putting first like it's my daughter that I'm putting first and you have to really change your mental when it comes to the weight loss you really have to figure out what am I doing it for or you're going to you're gonna lose like i'm i'm just being honest and transparent with you all you're going to lose if you don't know what you're doing it for if you just want to do it for the physical you're not going to get far so dig deeper that's what i tell you guys today i'm telling you today on this lovely sunday dig deeper dig deeper than just the physical dig, dig deeper than just the Oh, I want to put this outfit on. I want to do this. I want to do that. What is it that you truly want to do it for? And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
I will make a part two because I've been sitting here talking for 30 minutes. I have to get back in here to my baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up the video if you like this video. I will do a part two. I will keep you guys updated as far as um, what I've been eating before and after pictures. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, check out my TikTok because I try to do um, just little short snippets on TikTok. You know TikTok. I try to put my goals and my accomplishments on there. So be sure you check out my TikTok as well. Turn on that notification bell so you know every single time I post. I love each and every one of you. We're on the road to 5K. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. A very productive week. As I mentioned, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. I need to finish up this tea so I can fix me some coffee. Um, just side note. I got the um, Starbucks little coffee stuff that everybody gets on TikTok, and I'm going to give it a try today. So check out my TikTok. I might make a video on it because this is my first time ever trying it, y'all. So check out my TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I love you. Bye.